Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing or previewing uh, Deluge. It's a BitTorrent client. So to start off with, I'm going to be showing the columns. As you can see, there is not many. I've already ticked a few in, but I've right clicked here as well, so you can see all the other ones that are available to you. They just they they really need to add some more into here. There is not many at all. I uh, quickly added a few more uh, columns so that you could see them. And as you can see, the tracker it handles this very nicely it shows the icon and it just shows the name of the tracker which is fantastic I I wish they would add that into other ones like uh, uTorrent and Qubit Torrent. Um, the added on is exactly the same as um, Qubit Torrent it's big bulky just unnecessary it should be just one week or one month one day They um, also I've also added a uh, upload limit, the column upload limit, and um, if you right click on it, you you don't get the uh, little box like in uTorrent. Uh, so they they should add that in. Um, if you want to add the uh, the limit, you got to go to uh, the right click and then options, and uh, upload speed limit. Then you got to set one. and then you type it in and then it shows up so it's a little bit longer to do um, I wish they would just add a uh, an extra right click option like here just show some numbers or just so show that uh, the last part instead of having to show all of this like in U-turn next I'm going to go into the uh, preferences so uh, you guys can see this and I'm going to go quickly through this um, I won't be talking about anything right now in here pause it if you want to uh, read it I will be coming back to this. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go down here to the um, the bottom. As you can see, the status is pretty much the same as all the other ones. Same with details. Files again. It's just showing the contents of the um, the torrents. Peers, nothing special. And then options. As always, um, you can rename stuff inside. You can uh, change the priority. And you've got trackers, seeds, and you can also add labels in here with a uh, plugin. You can choose to hide them. These are all acting as one, unlike um, Qubit Torrent. So they act the same as uTorrent. This is the um, the box that you have when uh, you're adding the torrent, and you can change a few of the options in here. You can create a torrent with uh, Deluge. Uh, this one does automatically fill in the name, unlike Qubit Torrent. But um, everything isn't all in one 
box it's uh, separated between the tabs which I don't like I uh, find it um, wasting a bit of time when uh, creating a lot of torrents it all adds up this is the box that you have um, it replaces the explorer when uh, when you are creating a torrent or choosing any location uh, within Deluge. I do like this uh, but at the same time I don't like this. The reason why I like it is it's got recently used so it's pretty nice it's all there everything that you've used recently but um, nowadays you have a button 4 and 5 on your mouse um, these are normally right next to your form or they are tilt mouse wheel and people normally use this to go back and forth between pages in Explorer, their browser and all this. Button 4 and 5 does not work within this. Um, so that, that should be added into it, but it's not currently. It, when, you, when you get used to using button 4 and 5, it becomes second nature to you and you just do it automatically all the time. When you suddenly don't have that option, you tend to hate what's not letting you use it. Here are the preferences. I'm going to quickly go through all this. Um, set the download location. You can move the torrents or the .torrent files that you save with. Um, personal preference down below. I do recommend unchecking these and changing the numbers between 50,000 and 65,000 to make sure that it's not blocked by ISP and that no other program is using those ports. You do not need to uncheck these. I do recommend changing this to forced. Um, again, you will have to set these based on your internet settings personal preference again based on your internet settings and personal preference you can increase this if um, you have a slow hard drive but if you increase it you give the huge more chance to give incorrect or corrupt data and the plugins part. This is what makes uh, Deluge so good. Um, you can install new plugins by going onto their website. I'm just going to download uh, one. You can pause it here if you want to and read what plugins are available. Pretty much all of these should work. The third party ones are non-official ones. They're created by users that use Deluge. As you can see, there are quite a few of them. Deluge does not have a built-in RSS reader, but you can download a plugin to use as an RSS. I'm going to download Label Plus. I believe that um, quite a few people left uTorrent for Label Plus. That's how you install the plugin. Enable it. And it shows up here. As you can see a new option as well up there. This is what makes uh, Deluge so good compared to other clients.
it's kind of hard to do a review on Deluge because of the plugins. Um, it changes so much of Deluge compared to just a default Deluge program. So you can add options to each label. Again, you can pause it and read these. Uh, auto label is just brilliant. You can um, automatically label something based on a few things. You can apply this to existing torrents and unlabel torrents only. I personally love Deluge. I think it's the best one out there. But because of a few problems, I don't use it. This is one of the problems. Um, reason why I don't use it. I'm going to copy this. Um, these are just letters, numbers and stuff like that. Uh, Unicode also is called. Um, as you can see A, B, C, D and stuff like that. They're, they're pretty standard. They're, um, everyone uses them. So I've got a torrent here. I've just copied it. I'm going to change the name. I just change the name to a bunch of Unicode stuff. This is this will now not load into Deluge, even though it was the same torrent. So here we go. I'm adding it to Deluge. Nothing happens. But if I add the uh, non-renamed one, it will add. And some people are going to think, well, um, that's going to be the same with every torrent client. It's not. I'm going to now add that into uh, Qubit Torrent. And there you go. It loads no problem into Qubit Torrent. And it loads the original one. I think I've already showed that. But it just does not load the renamed one. Now, some people are like, okay, so all i got to do is rename it. You can. You can just rename it. But it becomes a bit of a hassle to keep doing that sort of thing. And some people may not know that you can re just rename it. And it's pretty much the same with all these other code. They, they need to be implemented into Deluge so it can read all this. Some of them it will be able to read, some of them it won't be able to read. And most people don't really come across this, uh, this sort of um, code. So it's not too big of a problem for them, so they can just keep using Deluge, but one of the other problems that I had with Deluge was whenever I close it down and then I reopen it, it will recheck the uh, torrents. It didn't do it right there. A new version is available as well. Um, Deluge um, does not get updated very often, so I am going to download that soon and um, check out that version. Hopefully they've changed a few, a few things. But um, when, when I normally close down Deluge and then reopen it, it would recheck all the files. And when you're dealing with, let's say, a couple of hundred torrents, it can take a while. Another problem that I had with uh, Deluge was that it did not um, it did not always send the information to the trackers. So I would have 
let's say 200 uh, torrents seeding onto a private tracker and it would not show on the private tracker that I'm seeding them 200 ones even though I am because it does not always tell the tracker that I am seeding those in Qubit Torrent there is a um, an option in the advance where it says always announce to all trackers if you have that ticked it will always announce to all the trackers so you are always going to um, so it's always going to say on the on the trackers that you are seeding the correct amount though you just doesn't have that there may be some sort of plugin but I have not seen it um, if you guys know of a plugin that does that post in the uh, comments so other people can know about it I do recommend that people check out Deluge um, hopefully they will do more updates um, they just did one so I gotta check that one out but normally they don't update very often I believe this was uh, the first update that they've done in about eight months maybe more so they really need to pick up the pace with the updates Qubit Torrent does one every couple of months like maybe one or two months um, sometimes they'll do one uh, every two weeks something like that if they messed up and uh, it's a big bug they might put another one out within another couple of days um, so that people can just download that one normally having updates for the client is both uh, a double-edged sword um, it's good and bad at the same time bad because if you're on private trackers they've got to allow that one to be used on their tracker you know what I add it to the uh, whitelist of clients um, and good because you get bug fixes new features all the good stuff that comes with updates thanks for watching like comment subscribe I'll see you next time. Stay safe.